Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I've decided to make a quick little video on my uh, Nicaraguan tank, basically. Um, there's about 20 fish in this tank, and while they're not all from the Great Lakes of Nicaragua, about uh, probably 85% of the fish are. You can see a female jaguar uh, swimming about right there in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And um, if I move this way, you see a pair of Zaliosum. Um, also in the uh, tank are many other fishes in the Red Devil Complex, uh, Midas and Citronellum. Here comes a big male Midas cichlid right now. Let's see if I can move a little closer. Um, you also see a few fish in here that are not from the Great Lakes of Nicaragua, like this big old male Eurothalmus. He's probably 15 years old now. It's the oldest fish I have now. He was spawned in this tank, and his parents have long since departed from this earth. As you can see, his colors are pretty washed out these days. He's a pretty old guy. I'm actually taking this um, video from the... Instead of from the front of the tank, I'm taking it from a side... It's kind of a side view. This is another 600-gallon tank. Uh, um, and it's again loaded with uh, basically basically red devils or fishes of the red devil complex there's actually um, a number of species in the red devil complex these days in the old days it was considered to be just three fish um, Amphilophus citronellum uh, labiatum and then also the uh, arrow cichlids again here is a pair of them in the uh, foreground this pair is Oh, six years old or so, I suppose. The male's about a good foot. The female's maybe eight inches. They've spawned numerous times in this tank. There are still a few of its uh, fry. Or they're not frying. I, I keep calling small fish fry, but um, it's hard to not do that when you've raised them from, from the get-go. Anyway, there's three generations of arrow cichlids in this tank. Uh, the easiest way to tell uh, arrows from the other species of red, the red devil type species is of course the arrow shape and the fact that uh, for the most part they're just black and white fish. Um, they don't get any orange or whites or any of the other pinkish hues that some of the other ones get. Um, there are nowadays, like I said, uh, probably I think we're up to about eight or nine different species in the red devil complex. Um, and that kind of depends on who you talk to. Um, there are splitters and lumpers when we talk about ichthyologists. I tend to be more of a, a lumper, um, which of course means you lump um, a lot of fishes into the same species where splitters tend to split them up into more, more unique species based on some pretty minor characteristics like maybe size or slightly different colors. Uh, not surprisingly, a lot of the the splitters have commercial um, gain for the splitting them into different species because of course they get a higher price if it's a new and unique species or if it's something that people don't think they have. So uh, again there are splitters and lumpers but uh, the Red Devil Complex um, anywhere from three to like I said eight or nine fish right now. The arrows come from uh, one lake. They're endemic to Lake Apoyo in Nicaragua. It's one of the smaller lakes. Whereas uh, some of the other fish live in a multitude of different lakes. Kind of going to go a different direction here on this. This is another younger arrow cichlid there. And as we turn to the front of the tank, we'll now get down a little lower and you can see some of the different uh, red devil and, and Midas cichlids that I have. This is a young, uh, probably a female, I think. And here is a mid-sized male. He's maybe eight inches or so. Again, I have many generations of fish in this tank. Um, over here is a purebred citronellum. You can really see the difference between a this is a citron or excuse me a red devil labiatum. Um, the hump is not quite there, and of course, there's a lot more mottled oranges and whites. Whereas the uh, Midas cichlids, which is citronellum, tend to have much bigger humps and more blunter snouts and that's one of them back there again there's a whole pile of different ones I probably have a half a no I think there's about 10 Midas and or um, 
Red Devil Citronellums and or Labiatums in this tank. Again, this is a Labiatum. And that big fella back there, a couple of big fellas back there are both Citronellums. That's my biggest Citronellum right there. That male is uh, responsible for the production of a whole pile of these, uh, these younger Citronellums in the tank. And there's another one there. Again, you can see the big, big uh, nuchal hump. The humps are generally based on the dominance of the fish. The more dominant the male, the bigger the hump is. And, of course, it also has to do with the size of the fish and nutrition and what have you. So, um, this is, uh, again, a Nicaraguan tank. In the background, you can see a, a big cave, which is where typically the pair of whatever spawning, whether it's uh, red devils or Midas cichlids, whatever happens to be spawning, they tend to take that, that uh, cave back there. It's, it's the prized place for spawning. The other thing that's kind of fascinating about the arrow cichlids, and this is a, another young male, is the fact that arrow cichlids are, are unique um, among the red devil complex in that they're open water fish and they're predators as well. Um, if there's a threat to the, to the species, typically most of the red devil complex will seek caves and um, you know rock work to run and hide in where the arrow cichlids will actually head to deep water. Um, that's just uh, kind of how it is. Anyway, so this is uh, again my Nicaraguan tank. It's another 600 gallon tank and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.